Welcome to this episode of History Hunters. We're on the Old Immigrant Trail and we're going to talk about one of those immigrants that had an unfortunate experience as they journeyed to California. For over a century, those traversing along Highway 88 in the Sierra Nevadas have been intrigued by a grave site along the road. A sign marks the spot of Maiden's grave, a tangible reminder of a different era when thousands traveled overland into California through the rugged mountains. Let's talk about that first. The discovery of gold in 1848 set off a stampede to California never before seen. The Oregon, Mormon, and California trails were collectively known as the Emigrant Trails. The Mormon Trail went from Illinois to Salt Lake City, Utah, and carried an estimated 650,000 people between 1841 and 1866. About a third moved westward to Oregon and a third to California. Those first trails had to be navigated through the deserts and rugged Sierra mountain range in trial and error fashion. Rivers, rocks, and trees presented obstacles. When pioneers came to cliffs, they would often disassemble their wagons and lower them over the sides by rope. It was grueling work. Dysentery and a lack of food added to their worries. Those who died along the way were buried on the spot as their grieving families pushed on. This roadside marker here indicates that Highway 88 closely follows the immigrant trail from all points in the Midwest to California in the late 1840s and 1850s around the time of the gold rush. The trail swung down along a meadow that is now filled by Capos Lake. The wagon trains would move on to peaks of nearly 9,000 feet and drop down into Placerville. The road became obsolete in 1853 when better routes were blasted out of the mountain near Carson Spur. So this is what we're talking about over here. That meadow is now covered by Capos Lake down there. To travel through California, you had to pass through at a time after the spring snows melt and before the winter snows came from the following winter. So if you came through here in 1848 through 1853, this is kind of what you would expect to see along the trail, which are rocks and trees in the way. We've really got it good today. Now we have highways like 88 up there where Sarah is sitting in the car. Can you imagine having to cross that in a covered wagon? How do you cross that in a covered wagon? It's a bunch of bumps. So I'm here at what's called Maiden's Grave. It, the story is that some young maiden in 1850 died on her way out west of California along the immigrant trail, leaving her heartbroken parents to bury her here. This is the second historical marker in California, and unfortunately, it's probably all wrong. So this is the gravestone that's engraved with the name of Rachel Melton, October 4th, 1850. It says she was a native of Iowa, erected by guests at Kirkwood in 1908. Unfortunately, it's not a grave. It's the grave of an Alan Melton, a new plaque was placed here reading who's really buried at Maiden's Grave. As a popular roadside stop, it commemorates the death of a young woman during the Overland Migration of 1850. Around 1900, an elderly woman looking for the gravesite of her daughter started a series of events that identified the wrong grave as that of her daughter. Two different times, two headstones were installed at the location along busy Highway 88. The site came to honor the Maiden, and many others who died on their way to California. Historical research in 1989 disclosed that a young man was buried here, not the young woman. The maiden was buried in a meadow two miles east of here. William Edmondson wrote in his diary on October 4, 1850, that after traveling six miles, we came to Tragedy Springs. After traveling two miles further, he came to a trading post about noon, where they camped, having come eight miles that day. It was Henry County, a young man in the camp, who named Alan Milton as dying in the night. So apparently, Alan Milton is buried here. Somebody placed a modern granite monument over here that reads, broken dreams and hope carried 2,000 miles through scorching deserts and over lofty mountains. At last, the site of the promised land. Those of you who visit the grave, carry a torch of love and hope, which this young girl lost, and pass it on to generations unborn. Rachel Milton was laid 
to rest here on a cold and frosty morning, October 4th, 1850. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Unfortunately, Rachel Melton is not likely buried here. Why did they put batteries on there? Little toys? Well, they think it's a, a child or a young lady. Someone paper clipped money together. Interesting, huh? Paper clip money together as well. It's funny, but for a number of years, I really had no interest in hearing about the immigrant trail to California. But as I've grown older and realized what amazing sacrifices these people made to get to California. And in looking over this very rough country where there was cliffs and where there were rivers, where there were rocks and, and trees that had to be cleared, it, it's obvious to me that coming out to California was such a risky thing to do. But they wanted to see what California had to offer, not only just the gold rush, but also for the fortunes and the, the land that could be had for nothing, just some opportunities that people didn't have before. That rock back there is a rock that they put, went by when they went right through here with their wagon trains. It's just an incredible saga of the American spirit. We just turned off of Highway 88 onto Tragedy Springs Road, and this is the actual trail used by the Mormons and other immigrants headed to California. 170 years ago. This is where you'll find what is believed to be the real maiden's grave. And there's the grave right there. So in 1986, Stephen Ferrari, the owner of this property, who was moving aside what was brush here, and he determined that there was a grave here. There was a marking of a grave, and he determined this is the real place where they lay to rest this Rachel. Last name unknown, we don't know what her last name was. So Mr. Ferrari determined that there was a, there was at one time a fir tree right here, Maiden's Grave, 1850. As you can see, she wasn't discovered until 1986. So somebody put that block of stone here to commemorate this being her grave. So according to local legend, sometime around the early 1800s, an elderly woman came to the meadow near Tragedy Spring. She was looking for the grave of her daughter who died and was buried at the base of a large fir tree in 1850. The woman asked some people camping in the meadow if they knew of such a place. The woman must have mentioned that her daughter's name was Rachel. Not finding the site, the woman left disappointed. Afterwards, the campers told others about the woman's search. Some guests at Kirkwood Inn knew of a grave two miles west of this meadow. They remembered that the grave was originally marked with a wooden board listing the date of October 4th, 1850. Also remembered the name inscribed as Melton. They jumped to the conclusion that Melton must be Rachel's last name and that she must be the one buried two miles to the west of here. These Kirkwood guests paid to have an engraved headstone placed at what would become known as the Maiden's Grave. I understand that was the second historical marker in California, so they got it wrong. Several years after the headstone was placed, Stephen Ferrari, the landowner of this meadow, was clearing brush and burning some fallen trees. After all the debris had burned away, exposed with the rock outline of the grave the elderly woman searched for years before, the real maiden's grave. So we moved a bit farther west on Tragedy Springs Road, and I was amazed to learn that this is where the immigrants would stop for water from a natural spring. They would also find rest here. And as you can see, there is an abundant spring. It has this road all wet, the same spring that the pioneers drank out of in the 1840s and the 1850s. So this is a tragedy spring. This campsite on the Kit Carson Immigrant Trail was a resting place for California settlers. It was named by members of the Mormon Battalion en route to Salt Lake Valley. Three of their men serving as advanced trail scouts were murdered here by unknown persons June 27th, 1848. Battalion friends, arriving a few days later, buried them in a common grave and carved their names. I understand that this marker here, paid for by a Utah historical group, is actually the spot where the tree was, where the names of the dead men were engraved. And it's also said that the men were found here naked and stripped, and uh, that there were broken arrows all around. 
indicating that Indians had slaughtered the three scouts. And as you can see, as there were springs back in the 1840s, there are still springs here today, the year 2020. So now after reading about the Mormons who were killed here and buried in one grave, I kind of suspect that the Melton, or the Rachel grave, may not be accurate as well. Right by this road sign, alerting motorists about the legendary maiden grave, I spotted this immigrant trail marker, which indicates that a trading post was approximately in this area. These markers are all throughout Nevada too. They look like pieces of railroad rail. This one mentions the trading posts and quotes from a 1852 letter by a Lewis Francis Beers who wrote, there's a trading post every five miles where you can get the necessities of life if you have the cash to pay for them. Came within five miles of the Leak Springs, past the Tragedy Springs. And after looking at the spot, this is likely the old road right here as it heads off to the mislabeled Maiden's Grave. If you're like me, you find that these stories about the immigrants coming to California to be a fascinating aspect of California history as well as American history, the migration out west. I want to thank you for joining us on this episode of History Hunters. We always appreciate a like, a comment, as well as a subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.